hi to all the little one i am emily here as we all know today we are celebrating children today i going to share a short message on the title big faith little me faith little me now what does the bible say about the children the bible tells us in psalm 127 verse 3 that children are a heritage from god This is God's way of blessing our families and our community and that means that you are a very special gift for your parents. Do you believe you are a God precious gift? Wow! Isn't that wonderful? All of us, you and me are specially created by God. Do you remember what Jesus said when the people brought children to him? The Bible tells us of one time when the people brought some little children to Jesus so that Jesus might meet them when Jesus followers saw that they thought the children were being nuisance to Jesus and they wanted to stop the people but Jesus saw it and said to them let the children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these children we see that Jesus loves and treasures the little children now other stories of little boys and girls in the bible who were very brave and who trusted god do you remember who well i remember the brave david david was a small shepherd boy but david also trusted in god to be his strength and help and with god's help he defeated the giant goliath to save his people Another child in the Bible is a little servant girl of Siren Jandal Naaman. Even though he just a servant girl in a foreign land and a foreign king, she continued to trust in God. She saw that Naaman was suffering from leprosy. She went to tell the queen about how God can cure Naaman, and as a result, Naaman decided to listen to the little girl's suggestion and to ask God to help to cure him. Through the prophet Elisha, Naaman was cured. Naaman praised the Israel's God because of the faith of that little girl. I don't know the little boy who gave his lunch of five loaves and two fish to Jesus. In the end, Jesus performed a miracle and fed five thousand people with the little boy's lunch that God will provide. David, the little servant girl, and the little boy trust in God for his help. and for his power and for his providence there are also some children in the bible who were very obedient like the little boy samuel who served in god's temple together with his teacher eli three times god called samuel samuel did not know it it was a god so he went to ask eli eli told samuel to say Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. Samuel obeyed Eli and said, "From on that day onward, Samuel grew to become a great prophet of God." There was another little boy who was very obedient to the God. Do you want to guess who? Well, it's a boy, Jesus. Jesus was obedient to his mom and dad. and he learned to be a carpenter from his father even though he was the son of god he listened to his parents and the bible tells us jesus grew in wisdom and in stature what we learn from jesus yeah obedience we learn that i am a child of god i am god's special gift and god loves me do you know that god loves you very much yes We also learn from many children in the Bible and saw how they trusted in God and obeyed even though they are small children they had big faith in God and in the end God used just five small stones to defeat a giant Goliath and God also took a small advice to heal a general Naaman and God also took a small lunch and fed 5000 people do you think that you can also have big faith in God and you trust that god can do wonderful things big and small through you yes we know that i can have big faith in god yes 
and we also learn to be obedient to continue listening to God and to those who take care of us so that we can grow in God's love and in God's grace today's bible verse is from proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 trust in the lord with all your heart trust in the lord with all your heart we can trust god put our faith in him because he loves little children so much happy children's day god bless you all